those great, I mean, great looking cupcakes on TV shows and pictures online and think to yourself, wow, or see those amazing looking cupcakes in bakeries and think to yourself again, wow. Hi, my name is Celia Bauer, I'm 12 years old and I attend the West Iredell 4-H Club. And today I'm going to show you how to frost and decorate a cupcake like a pro. Up here I have three professional cupcake decorators and one of their cupcakes that they have decorated. First, sisters Catherine and Sophie. Catherine and Sophie have a bakery in Washington, D.C. called Georgetown Cupcakes. You also might recognize them from their TV show, D.C. Cupcakes. And today I'll be showing you how to frost their signature swirl. Next, Tyler and Amanda Oakley. Tyler and Amanda Oakley have a bakery in Massachusetts called Amanda Oakley's Bakery. And today I'll be showing you how to frost their rose. And lastly, sister Stephanie and Fiona have an online business called Purple Cupcakes. And today I'll be showing you how to frost and decorate their French Groove Swirl. Let's get started. Before you work with any kind of food, make sure you wash your hands with soap and warm water for at least two minutes. And also pull your hair back, because hair is not an ingredient on this list. <laughs> This is a simple five ingredient frosting that I use for most of my cupcakes. First, the butter, which is the foundation of your frosting. Sugar, a very important and key step to the sugar is to have it be sifted or else you'll have chunks of sugar in your frosting. Milk, to make it smooth. Vanilla, you want to really invest in a quality vanilla extract, not an artificial, because this is the flavor of your frosting. So you really want to invest in it. And lastly, a pinch of salt. All right, let's get piping. Here are three simple and easy to use cake decorating piping tips. First, the 1M. The 1M is very versatile and has many, many uses. For the 1M today, we're gonna to be making a rose from Amanda Oakley's Bakery. For the rose, you're gonna start on the inside, pipe into the outside, and once you get to the outer edge, gently release. The 2A. The 2A, the decoration stands definitely more out in this one than most other tips because it's much more of a planar tip. So whatever decoration you finish it off with, it definitely stands out most in this one. For the 2A, we're going to be doing the signature swirl from Georgetown Cupcakes. For the signature swirl, you're going to start in the middle, do two loops around the cupcake, and give a little burst of pressure. <coughs> the way I remember this technique is start in the middle, stop in the middle. fun, different, and unique. For the French, we're going to be doing a French groove swirl from Purple Cupcakes. This actually doesn't take the whole surface of the cupcake, so if you want to add um, another thin layer of um, frosting using like an offset spatula or a knife, you can use that. And it's just kind of like a little ball of frosting on your cupcake like this. to decorate your cupcakes. Let's move on to decorations. Here are four simple and inexpensive ways to decorate your cupcakes. First, sprinkles. Sprinkles are probably one of the most classic ways not only to decorate cupcakes, but really any kind of dessert. Sprinkles, you can do something more creative and put them in a bowl or a plate and then dip your cupcakes in it to more direct the way um, that you direct where you put sprinkles. Next, fondant. Fondant is edible Play-Doh. You can get all sorts of colors, roll it out, and then use fondant cutters or cookie cutters like these to get the shape you would like. For fondant today, we're gonna be doing two different things. First, we're gonna be doing 
doing red hearts like these for the signature swirl. Place them on the top there. And we're going to do, you can have different patterns. Um, the fondant cutters give it also a choice to have little patterns. As you can see, there's some lines and details on this one. And this one is this turquoise heart. You just kind of seal like that. Like that. Thirdly, chocolate. There are four main ways you can use chocolate to decorate your cupcakes. First, by taking a block of chocolate or a knife, shredding the, and then putting the shavings on your cupcakes. There's an example of this with the picture up here on my poster. Second way you can use it is by taking candy melts like these, melting them in a microwave or a double boiler, and then putting them in a piping bag, um, put, and then put the piping bag and squeeze it over your cupcakes. After the chocolate is hardened, it'll have a nice chocolate crunch. Third way you can use chocolate is with the melted candy melts. You can, again, put it in a piping bag, and instead of squiggling it over your cupcakes, do it on a piece of parchment paper. Once it hardens, you can put, place it vertically in your cupcakes and it'll make a nice vertical effect to your cupcakes. Fourth way is again with the melted chocolate, filling them with molds like these. For today, we're going to be doing yellow chocolate butterflies for the rose. Lastly, sugar balls. Sugar balls, you can put more than one, like you see in this picture, but sometimes placing one on the top finishes it just very nicely. Even though cupcakes are for eating and get gobbled up in just a few bites, take some time, have some fun, and remember these few simple, easy tips, tips and tricks to decorating and frosting your cupcakes like a pro. First, make sure you have a firm, smooth frosting. Second, by using these three simple, easy to use cake decorating piping tips. And then finishing off with your choice of decorations. And there you go. You have just frosted and decorated a cupcake like a pro. Thank you. Do the judges have any